everybody needs beauty as well as bread, places to play in and pray in, where nature may heal and give strength to body and soul. Trinidad and Tobago, one of the most prosperous nations in the Caribbean, is blessed with an array of natural resources, including oil and gas, beautiful beaches for tourism, fisheries, and natural ecosystems that provide us with numerous goods and services. Most of our economic activity and population are located on the coast, an area most vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. These impacts include more frequent and intense hurricanes, storm surges which lead to coastal flooding, sea level rise, and increased coastal erosion. In April 2012, the government of Trinidad and Tobago appointed a steering committee to develop a national integrated coastal zone management policy framework, strategies, and action plan. This plan will help us to both adapt to the impacts of climate change and achieve sustainable development of our coastal and marine resources. Integrated Coastal Zone Management, what it attempts to do is to bring all the people who have a stake on the coast together to develop a policy and eventually a plan that would allow for us to continue doing the activities on the coast that provide us with a livelihood without compromising the ecosystems. Um, we want the, the, the different ecosystems to continue to provide us with, with services and these include things like coastal protection, being a, a nursery habitat for fish and shellfish species, um, help us against um, storm protection, water quality maintenance, all these services that they provide. Plus they are also um, homes for a wide diversity of organisms, some of which we use for our tourism. You know, we bring people to see all these different species that exist in our waters. So th that's the intention, bringing all these stakeholders, whether it be the hoteliers, the business community, the private sector, the government communities, to come together to do a sort of integrated approach to management. ICZM is a continuous and dynamic process that encompasses all three dimensions of sustainability, socio-cultural, economic and environmental. It is a participatory and consensus building exercise, uniting government and the community, science and management, sectoral and public interests and promoting coordination and integration of activities across agencies, organizations and jurisdictions, capitalizing on human, technical and financial resources. In developing the ICCM policy for Trinidad and Tobago, the steering committee held 20 pre-policy consultations throughout the country with various stakeholders to find out what they believe are the critical issues and how an ICCM policy can address these issues. The issues frequently identified by stakeholders were the need for public education and awareness programs on the coastal environment, the enforcement of existing laws and implementation of relevant policies, unplanned and poorly regulated development along the coastline, the need for scientific research to guide policy and plans, lack of capacity within organizations that are responsible for the management of coastal resources. The steering committee has considered the issues identified by you, the stakeholders, and has drafted the policy framework. Now, we need you to review this document to ensure that it addresses your needs. We invite you to visit our website at www.ima.gov.tt An effective ICCM policy requires your continued participation in the process. 
We look forward to you working with us. Remember, we do not inherit the earth from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children. Thank you.